This screencast will show you how to apply filters to your search results. Search filters or search limits are another way that you can narrow down your results. However, when conducting a comprehensive search or a search for a systematic review, some filters in the database will not be useful or appropriate. Search filters are located in the light blue box here just below the search bar. While limits can be very helpful for precision searching, they should always be used with caution. To view all available limits, click here on Additional Limits. Before starting, make sure that your final line of search is selected here on the left in the Searches box. Let's start with probably the most trustworthy filter, the Publication Date Limiter here. If your research is only interested in articles published between a specific set of dates, you can select a range from the drop-down menus here beside Publication Year. If you want to add additional limits, you can continue doing so from this page. The next filter, the Language Filter located here on the right, can be helpful if you would like to remove any articles that are not written in a language you or your team members can speak. To select multiple limits of the same type, hold down the control key on your keyboard and select each one. The age and gender limiters can also be applied if you're only interested in retrieving results where a specific population is reported on, such as all adult females. When applying an age limiter, it's important to keep in mind that not every database categorizes age in the same way. The age range for a child or a middle-aged adult in Medline may not be the same as it is in Embase or CINAHL. It's also very important to note that if you use any demographic or publication type limit in Medline, you will automatically remove all non-indexed literature from your results. That is, all literature that have not had subjects applied to them yet. This could mean that you lose the latest six months to two years of literature. Remember when we said to use limits with caution? This is one of the reasons why. If you want to search demographics or publication types more carefully, you can look for a validated search filter. These can be tricky to find and often involve doing research outside of the database first. A set of validated filters is available directly in Medline, and it's called the clinical queries here. These are also called hedges, and they limit filter searches according to study design. You can choose to go broad by maximizing sensitivity, or narrower by maximizing specificity. If I was only interested in pet therapy clinical trials in nursing homes, I could limit to therapy maximizes sensitivity. If I wanted to limit to reviews, I could also hit reviews here. After you've selected all your chosen limits, scroll back to the top and click on Limit a Search. This will take you back to the search page and add a new filtered line of search to the bottom of your search history. When using filters and limits, it's always important to give proper consideration to what you'll be excluding before you apply a filter in order to ensure you aren't removing relevant results, particularly if you're working on a systematic or scoping review. Most database filters are unvalidated and almost always over-limit a search. For questions on the other filters available in Medline, please contact a Gerstein librarian at ask.gerstein at utoronto.ca.